Hey team, talking about three Korean crime films all featuring this actress. I recently saw her in the film Be With You and got a big old crush on her, so I wanted to watch some more of her films, and I did. And the names of those three films are The Negotiation, The Pirates, and Open City. Open Stub is... The Negotiation. This is a 2018 film about a police negotiation that goes on for a long time. And it's decent. It's pretty good. The actress that I have a crush on, her character is a negotiator, but she's getting really bogged down and disheartened by a lot of the egos and testosterone that gets in the way of her being able to do her job. Also, maybe some corruption. And also definitely people just dying in front of her. She's not a fan of that. So she's trying to get out, but then she gets pulled back in for one more case. And that's what we watch in the film. And yeah, the story's pretty good. It definitely was interesting, kept my attention. I didn't always believe her as this like crack shot negotiator, especially like as she was starting the main case, she felt very amateurish as a negotiator. The actor did fine. I think like the need to have sexual tension between the two leads did a disservice to the film. I did think the end was good. It did a lot of like tropes of this genre. I could see as a criticism, but like honestly, I didn't mind them and I think they did them fairly well. Like there's one near the end where I was like, oh, are they gonna do this? And then it seemed like they weren't. I was actually disappointed. And then they did do it. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, they did the trope. Sweet, all right. <laughs> that was satisfied. So yeah, no, it's a pretty good film that I would recommend. If you want a good crime drama thriller thing, this is a good crime drama thriller thing. The next step is The Pirates. This is a 2014 pirate film and the basic premise is the government lost some treasure and so they hire slash force a bunch of different groups of people to try to get the treasure back for them. I think it's based on a true story and shenanigans ensue. This one's definitely more of a comedy and more of an adventure film and the crime is lesser and I wish I would have watched this film on a different day just because I think I would have connected to it a lot more. I think the day I watched it I was just too tired and just couldn't get sucked in all the way. But like there's a lot of stuff I like about it. There's a lot of fun like swashbuckling. There's a lot of great action. The characters are interesting. The costumes are great. Her costume is fantastic. I love it. Such a great design. There are a lot of different stories and things going on and they did a good job of making everyone look distinctly different, which was great, but I still had trouble following all of the stories. I think I got it all by the end, but it's still, I don't know, was a little bit of a struggle throughout. So even though I didn't connect to this movie, a ton. I definitely want to rewatch it and give it another chance. And with that, I would still recommend it. I think if you want a good fun pirate film, I think this is a good fun pirate film that you have a better chance of connecting to than I did. It's good. It's fun. It's interesting. It's worth a watch. Definitely. And lastly is Open City. This is a crime film about a bunch of adults who form a gang to be pickpockets. This film is so ridiculous and it's trying so dang hard to be cool. And like, I will give it credit, it does do it at times. But like just from the get-go, it just seems like such an absurd concept. I'm sure there's definitely groups of adults who form pickpocket gangs, but like, I don't know man, the premise seems just so ridiculous because there's so many like rival pickpocketing gangs and they get into turf wars and stuff and like they're all absurdly rich because of this pickpocketing thing and I'm like even in 2006 people aren't carrying that much money on them like one of the most absurd moments to me they're at a bank or something a loan office and someone got a loan for her house thousands and thousands of dollars and she got the loan in cash and then they stole the cash from her when she got on the bus but like there's no fucking way a bank would give literally hundreds of thousands of dollars to someone in cash as a loan like that's the shadiest thing Thing. This is so absurd. What's so interesting too is the aesthetic of the film because it's lit competently. I remember like being aware of the lighting at one point because I was trying to figure out what was going on and I'm like no it's it's lit well because like there was a shot of like a dude whose face was like one side was bright one side was very dark and that was to serve the mood and it was dramatic and I'm like okay yeah no that was correct but the film should be a lot darker like everything's just too brightly lit like it should look more like The Departed which I think is what it was going for. You can see too much 
much was part of the issue. The blacks needed to be blacker. Would I recommend this movie? I mean, it's fine. The actors gave good performances, but it's just, it's really ridiculous. I guess maybe if you want a really ridiculous crime film, then yeah, sure, go for it. But like, I don't know, it's an okay one to skip. So yeah, nah. Alrighty, now for today's rankings. First up, we got The Negotiation, sitting number 36 in the quite like section. And then after that is The Pirates, sitting at number 49 at the top of the liked section. And then bringing up the rear is Open City, sitting at number 52, also in the like section. And this is out of a total of 69 old movies so far this year.